Hey Arnabees, it's Crochet B here. I just wanted to have a quick uh, quick message to all of you. As you can see, I have my work shirt on. I have to work even on Sunday. When you're in love with a Yarnaby, it, you know, girls got to buy yarn, so you got to work seven days a week. That's just how it goes. Um, oh, hold on a second. What's in my cup? Whiskey and ginger ale. What else? Anyway, um, thanks so much for all of you getting back to us to let us know where you're from. It was really quite surprising. We have people basically from every province in Canada and all over the United States and uh, one lady even as far away as Australia. So I thought I had the only girl in the world that liked to sit around all day and do nothing but crochet, but apparently you guys are everywhere. So I wanted to let you know, I don't know if Sandy has told you, we live in Nanaimo, British Columbia, which is on Vancouver Island. So essentially we live right on the ocean. Uh, in fact, our Crochet A headquarters is conveniently located about a half a block from the ocean. So it's pretty darn nice here. Uh, people come here uh, to live from all over the world. But if you're thinking about it, I just wanted to let you know that we're full now and uh, you don't need to come and live here, but we're happy to hear from you all the time. <laughs> Sandy's laughing because we, we get told this stuff all the time. So um, I just wanted to um, let you know, I don't know if Sandy told you this story, but the first year we met we had our first Christmas together and um, you know I wasn't really sure what to get her because we'd only known each other for a short while so I wanted to get her something that you know she would be really emotional about and get all excited so I searched long and hard for all these little presents and wrapped them all up and our first Christmas together we were unwrapping our presents and all of a sudden I hear Sandy go oh my god it's beautiful and I, she's crying and I'm looking over to see what's wonderful present I gave her that could make her actually bring her the tears and uh, actually it was the $500 Michaels card that I got for her so that's when I knew that I had a girl with a serious uh, yarn addiction so I just wanted to tell a quick story um, when you carpet clean you come into all kinds of funny situations it's been a very busy month we live in a university town so august is very busy at the end of the month because all the university students from overseas come here so i've probably done a hundred jobs in the last five days sandy has barely seen me this week and that's why you guys don't see me very much on the broadcast but i had something pretty funny happen to me that i thought i should tell you about sandy's probably told you that I was born with a disability. It's true, I don't have a filter. So when something funny occurs to me, I just blurt it out before I even realize what I'm saying. And most of the time people take it with good humor and that happened in this case. So uh, yesterday I was doing a cleanup job for a dear 82 year old lady customer of mine. Her husband's 90, she's 82 and they live in a lovely big house in a nice part of our town and they're at the point now where they're probably going to have to put the big house up for sale uh, because it's just getting to be too much for them with the stairs and all the work and everything else so I was there to clean up the carpets to get it looking really nice so that they could list their home so when I do the job I, I always do my best to try to get as much of the carpet as I can I move the furniture and I get underneath things and uh, so when I'm doing the living room I always move the sofa to make sure that we get under there and I have to tell you over the years I have found some pretty strange things under some couches um, my first year in business I was working for a 92 year old lady and I moved the sofa and I actually found this is 16 years ago before it was legal here in Canada the largest bag of marijuana I've ever seen in my life and it was this 92 year old lady's and she was like oh good you found my pot I wondered what happened to that so I have moved sofas I have found uh, dead, dead mice under the couch I have uh, I have found uh, Sorry. sex toys under the couch um, once once I moved the sofa and I found a uh, newspaper from 1972 which obviously means they don't move their furniture very much and all I know is that Richard Nixon was in a lot of trouble back then. So to, 
Yesterday, I moved this couch for this lady, and what do I find but these two great big gigantic swords? Like, you know, swords, which was really odd. And this lady sees them and she goes, oh my goodness, I had wondered where I had put those. I'd been looking and looking for those all over the place. And I said, well, why would you put the swords under the couch? She says, oh, I don't know. I said, I just couldn't find them. And she said, I'm so glad you found them. And she was all embarrassed and everything. And um, I said, you know, she says, you must think it's really strange. I says, no, not really. I've seen things worse than this. She says, well, sometimes I just think I'm losing my mind. I says, well, you know what this makes you, right? And she said, uh, forgetful. And I said, no, no, not forgetful. You're a sword loser. <laughs> sword loser. <laughs> oh anyway that's my joke for today um thank you for getting back to us with where you live it was really nice to know that sandy has reached out to so many of you uh we have a very nice life here in nanaimo bc it really is heaven on earth and uh we're very lucky to live here and as you all know i have my own personal angel so Aww. she will continue to send out the word uh, tell your friends. We'd like to get up to about 10 million subscribers to keep this girl busy. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Now, when I think of another funny story, um, I could literally have my own YouTube channel called Tales from the Carpet Trail with some of the weird stuff that I run into. But uh, it's all part of what we do so that my girl is able to buy her yarn and crochet all day. The sacrifices we make. Okay, guys. Bye, yarnabies.